Hello again and welcome to watch this uh, quick update tutorial of Drop Zone Trees. Most of these updates uh, that are released in the version uh, 201 and 202 are uh, made for all the DC trees but not, not uh, some of the changes because there are some changes for the seasonal colors like fall and uh, it does not affect to the conifers. So let's get started. Uh, first, I recommend opening these uh, material material instances for leaves, and needles, and trunk branches. Both. Press edit. And then what's what is new? So. First of all, in trunk and branches uh, material instance, uh, master material instance, you will see that there is a new feature to add moss or use moss. You don't have to use the bark 2 texture and many of the trees don't use the bark 2 texture. Uh, uh, none of the deciduous trees use it. Most of the conifers does, but of course you can change it to use moss. So here we have uh, moss selected, and uh, and you can uh, see it straight away that there is some amount of moss in these tree trunks. Okay, and if we take it off, you see the difference. And if we, this is very sensitive, we increase it, there is very quickly too much, and very quickly there is still a too low amount. So the decent amount is something between 0 0.4 and 0 0.5. But you, it's you to decide. So this is the first new feature to add moss. And I recommend uh, if you want the change to be done to all the trees at the same time, you just use these master material instances. Of course, settings might not be the best for every tree, uh, but uh, here you get the point how it affects. Of course, you can uh, adjust in the tree's own material instances all these new, new features. But I go this through these uh, master material instances and I recommend using these normally if you want to do the changes to every tree. Okay, moss is not any more complex than that. Then we have uh, at the end there is two new features, snow and peeled bark. And uh, we can uh, go for example at this tree. Now there is moss, and when we use peeled bark, it uh, looks like this. So the bark is peeled from somewhere, but you can see that it's not peeled from the upper trunk. So one click, and you have some kind of effect. And use peeled bark. Here, here you can see the settings. You can see the texture, desaturation. Sometimes uh, when the tree is old and almost dying, it might be quite black and white. The trunk uh, under the bark. So that's why there is a desaturation setting. Let's put it back to zero. Peeled bark amount. Here you can seamlessly add amount of peeled bark. Like this. Okay. Very simple. Uh, peeled bark plant power. Uh, it kind of... Uh, Uh, makes the 
edge sharper or softer if it's uh, like this you can see it's it's not that sharp but peeled park is many times uh, the edges are quite sharp so that's why I recommend using the quite high values it gives a uh, more realistic feeling okay and normal strength I don't recommend using uh, too high values because it kind of brings the bark feeling more back so it's not looking that peeled anymore so staying at one is quite quite good setting and then there is a <coughs> billet bark mask tiling uh, it changes the size of these uh, billet bark areas and then there is billet bark tiling and offset and it's the same setting as a bark barks has so you can change just tiling of this texture here okay i think there's nothing more we should go through about this this setting that's the spillet park and then there is no this is of course for trunk only because this is uh, material instance trunk branches so it doesn't affect leaves we have to do it separately in the leaf material but here you can see how it affects and I want to show you that uh, well now I'm using snow and if I'm using the peeled bark you can see that also the plant changes when peeled bark is applied so it's using the peeled bark normal map using the blend. Of course this used uh, slope also because there are much more snow on top of the branches and when we have uh, some uh, shapes on top of the shapes of the trunk there is much more snow of course. So it uses uses, the, uses those both to make this plant for snow. Okay, we see that build park affects that, which is good. And now the normal uh, settings, uh, of course, you can choose what texture you use, normal and tint. There's some little blue tint. Uh, it doesn't show very well here, but there is a little bit added blue, like snow has. So, snow plant bias, it's, uh, if we increase it, we get more snow, and decrease it, we get less snow. And we can also look in the branches, like we see all the other trees are changing also at the same time. So, seamlessly you can add amount of snow or degrees amount of snow very nicely okay my default was minus 0 0.3 snow plant sharpness is 10 if you increase it you get this kind of So you can uh, try different values and see what's good for you. But it's it's very easy, very easy settings. Snow tiling and offset, nothing new about this. I use 0 0.5 and 3, and we can uh, see that snow has a uh, nice texture in it. Yep. That's no normal strength, it's in two now. I don't recommend using two, two high values because then snow gets uh, shadows and uh, it maybe doesn't look too normal. 
All right. So I take snow off for a while. Let's go through some uh, autumn settings and then let's add snow again. Uh, activate the snow again to the branch and for the leaves and so uh, we can see how all these trees, also conifers, are chasing line nicely with these snow effects. Okay. Then what's new here in uh, leaves and needles material? They are all here in the last section season settings. What's new here is uh, first is use dead leaves, and like it says, uh, it overrides other leaf colors. So uh, the normal uh, autumn colors they kind of do overlay blend to this green color, but this erases the color from the leaves and then it adds the dead leaf color. And it looks like this. Okay. And we have some settings color amount, leaf brightness amount, all those same kind of uh, settings than the normal fall leaves has. Have. Uh, of course, you can change the texture if you want, but maybe this doesn't look too normal and there are dead leaves, so many dead leaves. So, of course, we want to use this uh, reduce amount of leaves and then we have leaf reduction amount field here and uh, we want to top it. And now it kind of makes sense. It looks more normal. Okay, if we go back for a while, we don't use dead leaves now, we use fall, and there is a new feature, mm, use partly colored leaves, because these leaves, they get color everywhere, maybe there's a little fade in here in the part, uh, start of the this uh, twig that it's uh, that the wick uh, is not colored as much as the leaves. So, but um, others, all the leaves get colored by those fall color textures. But now I have made new fall color textures. So if you use partly colored leaves, now you can see that only part of the leaves get the color. So there is the original summer color mixed with some amount, uh, uh, the some parts get the full color. And uh, now I have all the same settings. These are just different textures only gives color to some part of the leaves. Okay. So for the use when you don't want the uh, everything to be fall colored so this is starting of the the beginning of fall you may might have this kind of colors and some trees are uh, get more the fall color is like this there is the green and the yellow mixed together and there there are no red colors at all so this is quite natural looking okay this was new feature And then there is also this use snow. And if I activate it, 
it does this kind of frosty feeling to leaves. You can see that there are some leaves showing more the original color and some leaves are more frosty, like in the real world. But in real world, uh, there are, aren't frosty leaves or snowy leaves when, uh, when the leaves are green. So maybe it's wiser to use dead leaves. But of course, you can decide what you want to do. But if you want to be uh, do like uh, real world things, then maybe like this and reduce the amount of leaves and reduce the maximum. Okay. Now we have some kind of setting, and here you can uh, of course adjust the uh, snow settings. Snow plant bias, snow plant sharpness, just like in the trunk branches, and now we can enable There's no also here in trunk and branches material and now we get snowy trees. Okay. Very easy. You just press activate snow in trunk and branches and leaves needles materials. And you get nice trees. Here I have the whole uh, crop zone tree bundle, the first wall wall one and you can see how the default settings affect to the trees there are nice frosty kind of needles there are some green and some real white needles and trunks are a little frosty and snowy also so you can use these trees now well in the winter environments also. And if uh, we increase amount of snow, we can see what kind of effects it has. We get real white snowy trees just like this or just a little frosty feeling somewhere okay And trunk branches. Won't real quite white feeling. And even more and same here. So if you have uh, some kind of uh, winter environments or, uh, or some kind of downhill skiing game or whatever, anyhow, or if you want to do some kind of uh, winter scenes, these are very, very nice now also with this new snow effect. Like you can see, everything is changing nicely. So you can change the seasons now to the winter. Of course, you can use the winter setting here in the uh, leaves material, but then you don't have the leaves here. Like it's maybe the more normal situation, but it's like this. But uh, it's you to decide. 
there are some trees keep those leaves quite long also at winter time a few leaves and then they drop it before the next summer okay these were the new features and uh, I have to say that Peeled Park maybe doesn't uh, work as well with these conifers, but it's it's totally functional with those trees also. This no effect works well. Those partly colored leaves are only for the deciduous trees because they have leaves, not needles. Uh, and uh, most effect. It works in the conifers also, but most of the conifers, all but firs, are using already two trunks. So as default, the moss effect is not uh, activated in them, but it is active in the in the fir trees. So this is about new features. I hope you enjoy. Show your asset and these new features. See you next time. Thank you very much.